The deferred work feature in All Data Manage Online allows you to keep track of suggested jobs declined by the customer and recall that job at a later stage with the same customer. After entering a customer or vehicle, the deferred work feature also indicates that there is deferred work previously declined. This gives you the opportunity to remind the customer and get that job back in the repair order. So let's see how this works. Our customer, Ashley Ashley, came into our shop because she had a bad battery and a check engine light. After our diagnosis, we determined that the bad battery was a result of a bad drive belt not keeping tension on the alternator. So we recommend we replace the bad battery, we'll replace the drive belt to ensure the new battery stays in working order, and also a new air filter, which will solve the check engine light issue. So our jobs are listed here, and we're going to replace the battery, replace the air filter, and replace the drive belt. However, unfortunately, Ashley can only afford the needed work, which is the battery and the air filter, but doesn't quite have the funds for the drive belt. So she's confirmed that she'd like to put that off until a later date. So we'll move over here to the red X icon and we'll defer this particular job. This gives us the choice to delete or defer the job via this pop-up and we'll choose defer. Now Ashley said she'd like to be reminded in a little over a month, so we'll put a time frame down here and then we'll choose the reason and the service rider who's deferring the work. Deferring that job removes it from the current document. I'll update my estimate, and I can see here by going into the shop documents and then deferred work that this job is now listed here and I can include this in my next report if I wanted to. Now as you can see here, Ashley has returned for a synthetic oil change on her F-150. Now it's about two months since we last saw Ashley, and as you recall, she deferred a drive belt job, and we want to remind her of that and get the job back on our repair order. As soon as we entered Ashley's license plate or looked up her name in Manage Online, we see this red icon here within her vehicle information. And we see in her vehicle display screen that for this particular customer with this particular vehicle, we do have deferred jobs waiting. So we'll click into that and the details of that previously deferred job is listed, including the date it was deferred, the description, the reason it was deferred, and who the service writer was. We're going to select this checkbox here to choose this job, and we'll click Add to add it to our current work document. And there you see the whole job, including the labor rate, along with the oil change that she's come in for. So let's click on Estimate, and we can print out this estimate for Ashley. We'll convert it to a repair order, and Ashley gives us her authorization for the work. And we'll have our tech baron complete the work, and we'll contact her upon completion. Now let's say you want to see a report of all your deferred work, and even send reminder messages to customers to bring them back for their previously delayed repairs. So from any screen, click Shop Documents, and choose Deferred Work. Here you can see all your deferred work, or you can choose a specific date range. And even though we don't have too many vehicles here, you can see all the details of each job, including the date it was deferred, customer and vehicle details, the reason, due date, and even the value of that work that's still to be completed. You can print out this list to use as a reference for calling or contacting those customers. But let's take that a step further and we'll use our customer relationship management feature to view and notify customers about their deferred work. So we'll choose reports and then customer relationship management. Since we want to send messages about deferred work, we'll use the type pull down menu here and choose deferred work. We can obviously choose a date range here, but if we leave it blank and just click display, then our list will include all of our deferred work. For our customers here, we can see by these icons the preferred method of contact for each customer. And with all customers selected, we could send messages to all of them at once. But today, we just want to contact Ms. Ashley about her drive belt, so we'll deselect the others. And up here under Contact Method, we'll choose Text Message since Ashley has that method listed, and we know that's going to be pretty quick to let her know that her work is due. The message we want to send is a deferred work message that we previously created and in the body of the message, the form fields that we've added, such as her title, last name, model of her car and the deferred work will be automatically populated with those details. 
Now keep in mind, as a best practice, we should include our own shop phone number in our message so she can call back or text back. In fact, you can edit and customize each message as you like before you send it out. Once we hit send, she'll receive that message almost instantaneously and that's a great way to provide better service to your customers and it helps keep work in your shop that might have otherwise gone elsewhere or not completed at all. So that's deferred work. Thanks for watching.